Hello and welcome back to the Fish Lock there. I'm recording the beginning at the end. This is what we're going to build. I'm building a desk for the Fish Locker office. Now let's go to the workshop. First thing we need to do is we need to get everything measured out. Right. I have my pre salvage boards. I have a couple of pieces left over from over the projects. I've managed to get myself four posts that are going to be the legs. Right. Let's get everything measured out. I'm almost finished measuring up now. I'm just going to show you this. This is what I do. Whenever I'm measuring a line like this or like this, you have a good piece that you're going to keep and you have a piece that you're going to discard. If this is the line that you've measured to, this is 140. So that line there is bang on 140. That means that when I'm cutting it, I'm going to run the saw blade down this side of it. So I'll mark it. So I know that this side is the one that's sacrificial and this side is the good one. So, because I've marked it with a V there, that means that I'm going to run the saw blade down this side. That means that this piece is exactly what I've measured. If I ran the saw blade down the other side, it would be a couple of millimetres short. Okay, well we have all the pieces of the framework cut. Now all we've got to do is sand them down and plane them off. The reason that I've cut them before sanding and planing them is because there are offcuts. There are pieces that I didn't need. Well, there's no point sanding those extra pieces when I don't need them, is there? So I've cut them all to size. Now I'm going to sand them. Because the pieces of wood that I've been using, they're recycled, they're not perfect. They've been weathered, they've been bashed, they've been dinged. You can see that they've got some scratches and some imperfections on and some of them are slightly bored. So all I'm doing with the electric plane is I've just been squaring them off. So you can see there where it's, it's taken off the high points and left the low points. So it's something like square now. They're not going to be perfect, but I don't want them to be perfect. I want them to have a little bit of character. So anyway, they're, they're pretty much square now, and the frame's going to be ready to go together.
This is one of the main things, never drill onto your workshop, I've always got a sacrificial piece underneath. There you can see I've fitted them all together and all I've done in the corners is I've just put a little corner brace. You can see. See there as I've chamfered the ends together at 45 and just put a corner brace in. Now I have put a bit of wood glue down inside of each of these to try and bind it a little bit tighter. Now all it's time to do is I'll just fit the cross pieces. It's starting to take shape now isn't it? I'm hoping that I can build the whole tabletop and then take it in and then put the legs on inside. These are where the legs are going to fit. So the legs are going to fit. These are the offcuts. The legs are going to fit in there like that. Now we'll see about getting the boards. I do like making things hard for myself. We might now be in a position where we can put the boards on. Now because all these were recycled, they were all a little bit bent, a little bit bored, none of them were square. If I'd have bought brand new, this would have been so much easier. As you can see, I did have to take quite a bit of wood off to get them all square. But hopefully, they're all going to fit. <laughs> Let's get them put on. Perfect. Oh, that one's a little bit bored out, but perfect. As you can see, look, there was one or two that were a little bit bored, but that there is completely unique. No two like that. A little bit of stain in the woods. I think it's brilliant. There we are. All planed. All sanded. Perfect. I do, I'm really glad I chose these pieces that have got a little bit of character to them, like this one here. They weren't easy to work with, they were, they were difficult because they were bored and they were, they were off square, but I love them. I think that, that adds loads to it. And these pieces as well, reclaimed. Now all we need to do is get it in the house and get the legs on. I think I'm going to need a bigger workshop, don't you? Right, we've got the legs on. I've already got three. I'm just going to show you this last one. Because in these corners, I used a corner brace. I've had to chisel out a little space on either side so it fits. And it just, you see there, it should fit. Like that and all I'll do is I'll just screw it on 
the same as it has done there and there one of the problems I've got is because I've made it so strong it is very heavy <laughs> There we are, all finished. I'll go into now. Um, this was this was a new project for me. I've I've not built one this size, this shape, this type before. Uh, so I'll go across some lessons learned. The first thing being is I tried to make this out of reclaimed wood. All of this, the legs, the sides, the panels. These are all pieces of pallet. These are all what I found in a skip. Those used to be in a workshop down where I kept my boat. These were all bored and bent and some of them have been sat out at water so they were all a bit skewed. I straightened them all off kind of old school way. If I had a table saw or something like that where I could have just zipped them all straight across or like an autoplaner it would have been perfect. It would have been, I would have cut off a day's work. I kind of did it old school where I, I straightened them all out with a T-square and a pencil and a ruler and then I planed them with an electric plane. That took a lot of time. Also with the electric plane is you end up chasing it. It is great, but you get you get two boards level and then this one won't line up and you try and line that one up and then you create a line and you try and get rid of the line and you just end up chasing it. So there are there are one or two little tiny lines which you can barely see look. It's a fraction of a millimetre look. But you just end up chasing it, you end up trying to get rid of it and create another and create another all the way along the next thing is I, what I am going to do is I am going to put a little board across the back because I like to put my feet up the next thing you might laugh at is um, I'm quite tall I'm just shy of six foot yeah I have made this a little bit high now we're uh, Partly my own fault because I thought I'm gonna I like a high desk. When I'm in a workshop, this is too low for me to work at. My workbench in the garage is a bit higher. And our office downstairs, what we have is if you can see here, the distance between there and there for Hannah's office is 75. This is 75. What I didn't take into account is there's an extra 10 centimeters there. So what I might end up doing is, if I can't get a higher chair, I'm going to have to take an inch off the legs. It's not a problem, I would rather it be too big and I can cut it down than too small and I can't do anything with it. Um, all I need to do now is I'll need to either get, I'm unsure yet whether or not I'm going to wax it, I'm going to stain it or I'm going to varnish it. We will see. But we have, we have our desk, we have our storage space. The next project is going to be some rod holders down the centre of there. I hope you've enjoyed this, all the very best, see you later. Oh, got some charging up to do.